This is for the championship of the world. Expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions here? Any questions here? Let's get it on. Come on. And Mills Lane uh, laying down the law. He, he can do it. He's a spry referee in his 56th world title fight. And he's a, he's a small fellow, but uh, he can handle these big heavyweights. Here we go. Round one, scheduled for 12 for the World Heavyweight Championship. A, a defense, second defense for Evander Holyfield. Comes out jabbing. Burt Cooper looks much shorter than his 5'11". He's been known as an inside fighter. If he can get inside, he is very dangerous with uppercuts and body work. This is what he did against Ray Mercer, and he did much damage to Mercer, although he lost the fight. Mercer walked away with 35 stitches in his mouth and a broken hand. Bert Cooper is tough. And he loses his bounce, spins around, and takes a combination from Holyfield, who tried to capitalize on that moment of disorganization. He appears to be hurt. Burt Cooper appears to be hurt. As Holyfield is unloading after all these months of training. The frustration of not fighting Mike Tyson. Twice now he's been scheduled to fight Tyson and it hasn't come to pass. And the question remains, will they ever get together? And here he is before the hometown crowd. Burt Cooper, his moment in the sun, he has slipped into the rankings, number 12 in the IBF. Before this fight, takes a tremendous shot to the midsection. A left hand to the midsection. And Burt Cooper is down. Remember, there's no standing eight count. First round action. 125 remaining in this first round. Burt Cooper now trying to fight back. Angry that he was floored. Throws a right hand. Holyfield unloading. Very busy. Holyfield is one of the best conditioned athletes in the world. Always in training. Always in great shape. And a very focused, disciplined fighter. And he only fights at about 210. And when you look at him, he certainly looks bigger than 210. Very heavily muscled. A right hand smashes against Burt Cooper's face. Burt trying to cover up to stop those stinging right hand. 40 seconds remaining in round one. Scheduled for 12. Mills Lane separates them. Burt Cooper down from a midsection blow from Holyfield. He is being warned for the low blow. Bounces a right hand off of Holyfield's shoulder. Tries to throw a left inside, right. Holyfield jabbing, and loading the right hand with 10 seconds remaining in round one. Uppercuts to Burt Cooper. Burt Cooper hanging tough. Cooper's corner. He's handled by Whit Lowry, Jimmy Adams, and Eddie Aliano. And Artie Artwell. Let's go back in round one. There's that left hand. What a shot. A double left, actually. First to the midsection, then to the head. There it is, slamming against the abdominal muscles of Burt Cooper. And a little push with the left hand puts him down. Actually, he blocked that left hand. Round two, scheduled for 12 for the undisputed heavyweight title held by Evander Holyfield fighting before the hometown crowd the first time since 1986. Burt Cooper known for a very good left hook. He is an inside fighter. I'm surprised that 
His reach almost equals that of Holyfield because he certainly doesn't look it. Slams a good right hand against Holyfield. But the champion comes right back with a chopping left hook to Bert Cooper's jaw. Bert can take a punch. They've had three common opponents over the years, Henry Tillman, Tyrone Booz, and George Foreman. Of course, Bert Cooper quit against George Foreman. Some combinations from the champion slamming against Bert Cooper's body. Bird is taking a punishment in here this second round. Seems to be absorbing the, the punishment well at this point. A left hand from Holyfield. Bird Cooper countering. Second round action. Bert Cooper now starting to take some punches. It'll be interesting to see if he can hold up. Holyfield unloading. Cooper countering. Cooper likes to fight inside. If, if he can get inside the reach of Holyfield and work the midsection, but Holyfield is such a well-conditioned athlete with tremendous power. There's a right hook from Bert Cooper. Bert is known for his, his hooking power. He can slam that left hand against your midsection and your face. 25 seconds remaining in round two. As Holyfield comes back with a left-right combination. Bert Cooper now getting a bit more aggressive, but he has taken some punches in this second round. Slams a right hand against Holyfield's midsection. Holyfield comes back, and Cooper tries to counter with five seconds remaining in round two. And we'll go over to Holyfield's corner, and Lou Duva always with instructions. Very vocal. He tells it like it is. He's working with George Batty. Ace Milana, Ronnie Shields. He's getting tired. I know, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. That's right, keep hitting that body. Keep hitting that body. Slip his punches on your way in and keep hitting that body. Going third round, right? Yeah, third round. Third round. Third round. That's right, take a deep breath. Hitting him good to the body, be first. Don't let him give off coming back with that third punch to your rear. Give him some more water. Water up over here, please. All right, come on. Round three, scheduled for 12. Bert Cooper asking what round it was. Seemed a little exasperated. There comes Holyfield doubling the left, the right, the left, unloading his arsenal of punches. Bert Cooper trying to absorb them, trying to fight back. Tries to go to Holyfield's midsection on the break. But Holyfield is, is unperturbed. There's no doubt about it. He, he is just absolutely... Not bothered at all as he slams away at the smaller man. Although that smaller man in height is five pounds heavier than the champion, which is a little bit hard to believe when you look at him. Holyfield winging some uppercuts, slamming a left hook, and he got stung. Bert Cooper has stung Evander Holyfield. He's got him gone. Holyfield is, is almost down. He's hanging on the ropes. And he's taking an eight count. Bert Cooper, after getting hit, countered and stunned the champion, who was still wobbly. Here's Bert Cooper, smelling the championship. 
Mark Cooper, Holyfield still, still stunned, trying to cover up third round action. This is incredible. The unranked Bert Cooper slamming away. Holyfield is staggered. He is definitely off his balance. With 1.15 remaining in the third round, Cooper has stunned Holyfield. Holyfield now trying to fight back. Cooper is a little bit tired after those flurry of punches. Now Cooper takes an uppercut. Now he's hurt. Now Cooper is hurt. He's going to go. He's going to go. He is now stunned. What in the third round this has been. First the champion is stunned and rocked. Now Cooper is stunned and rocked. With 40 seconds remaining in this third round. Holyfield still looks a little wobbly. But he's fighting back and now he has Cooper wobbly. What a third round this has been with 25 seconds remaining. Holyfield took a, an eight count. He almost went down to the canvas. He slumped against the ropes. He was able to regain himself. Both men now tired after throwing an awful lot of leather in this third round. Hanging on each other. There's Cooper with a right hand. Holyfield trying to come back, but he looks tired. What a round this has been! No. Get inside. Get inside. Pick the time and pick your shot. Pick. Pick. You understand? Pick let's go back shot. into the third round and let's watch this now. Here's Cooper with a right hand, a right cross. Stunning. Holy field. There it is. And that wobbled him. Been a while since the champion's been wobbled like that. And then Holyfield coming back now. Late in the third round. He lands a right hand. And uh, look at that uppercut. Inside right hand slamming Burt Cooper. Well, that's a, that third round will be long remembered in heavyweight boxing. Burt Cooper just, just inches away from possibly capturing the world heavyweight title. Here we are now, fourth round, scheduled for 12. Both men nearly punched themselves out in that third round. Cooper had Holyfield gone and started to run out of gas, and Holyfield had Cooper going, and he was running out of gas. So here they are in the fourth round. Who's going to have more fuel in their tank? Bert Cooper smiling at Holyfield. Trying to wade in on the champion. Holyfield may still be a little groggy from that right hand. Burt Cooper, unranked until before this fight, and just 12th ranked by the IBF. And he was heavily criticized. The organization was criticized for taking the fight with Cooper after Tyson and Damiani bowed out with injuries. So Burt Cooper became the substitute substitute. There's Holyfield, but a little, some of the sting is gone from his punches right at this moment. Both men a bit tired. Holyfield has trained long months for Tyson, which didn't take place, and he didn't want to pass a fight by. He wanted to fight somebody. And was he in a fight in the third round? Bert Cooper just, oh, inches away from a possible world title. What a tremendous upset that would have been. Holyfield with 110 to go in the fourth round. Still, still rocky. And here's Cooper unloading against the ropes. The look on Holyfield's face is one of exhaustion, believe it or not. This well-conditioned athlete looks to be a little bit tired at this point. But Bert Cooper is uh, not very fresh either. But Bert Cooper is winging some punches, and Holyfield comes back. 
slamming inside off Burt Cooper with 35 seconds remaining in this fourth round in a fight that has turned into a wild affair after Cooper was down in the first round from a midsection blow he came down and he came back and almost put Holyfield on the canvas in the third both fighters leaning on each other pushing each other in the closing seconds of this fourth round Holyfield now looks a little bit more rejuvenated. Now he's bouncing on his toes at the bell. We are here at the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, Vander Holyfield's hometown, a packed house see their hometown hero fight here for the first time in five years and back in the third round he almost almost gave up the title there's Bert Cooper who really took his time getting back to his corner after that fourth round he's tired you weighing him down you weighing him down get the shot in and Holyfield still looks a little right back in the baby right back in the baby right back in the baby right back in the Fifth round scheduled for 12 for Evander Holyfield's undisputed championship actually defending the IBF and WBA titles. WBC not recognizing this as a title fight. And Holyfield came very close in the third round to giving up two of those titles. An uppercut from Holyfield. But Cooper comes back and stuns Holyfield again. Countering beautifully. But here's Holyfield. Bert Cooper is tiring. But he's very game, very game. Now he's hurt. He's hurt. Holyfield moving in for the kill. Slamming uppercuts, left hooks, a right uppercut. Cooper is wobbly. He's going to go. He's about ready to go. He's taking a beating. A Bert Cooper gamely standing on his feet. Shaken, trying to bounce up on his toes to show that he is not hurt. He took some wicked uppercuts from the champion. Now they lean on each other as Mills Lane pushes them apart. Bert Cooper looked like he was going to go, but he has regained himself. He is fighting on guts and heart. Timeout. Mills Lane looks at Holyfield's right glove that has split open. And this is interesting because this gives Bert Cooper a rest that he needs. So they will take off the glove and replace it. It has split open. And I can see why, because he slammed some mighty shots against Bert Cooper so far in this round. Now this is interesting. This is a uh, a, a bonus rest period for Bert Cooper. And Bert's gonna he's gonna sit down on a stool in a neutral corner <laughs> as Mills Lane brings over a new right glove. This has been a a, a, a crazy boxing affair so far. <laughs> Third round action, the champion appeared to be on his way out, and Cooper appeared to be on his way out. And they leaned and pushed each other in the fourth round, and now the fifth round, Cooper looked like he was definitely going to go. He took some tremendous uppercuts from Holyfield, and Holyfield split his glove, his right glove. Burt Cooper, this is, a, this is a very interesting development because Burt Cooper is sitting over in a neutral corner and he is getting a much, much needed rest. He has a slight cut around his right eye. Nothing serious. He has been tremendously game tonight. What guts, what heart. Moments ago, he looked like he was on his last legs only to regain himself. And now, this bonus rest period. So Bert 
Hooper not only got a, an unusual break to fight the heavyweight world champion, he's getting another unusual break here in the fifth round. They're trying to get that glove on as quickly as possible. A lot of confusion around the corner. Now Burke, smoking Burke, is up on his feet. He's got some wind back. Got a nice rest period there. Now here we go. Back to the fifth round. Cooper bouncing on his toes now. Let's see if he's uh, rejuvenated himself a little bit. Very game tonight. This is going to do win, lose, or draw. This is going to do Bert Cooper's reputation a world of good because there was criticism about him getting this title fight. In fact, some of the younger heavyweights complained. Like Rick, Rick Bowes, people complained that why should Bert Cooper have this opportunity? 50 seconds remaining in round five. Both men leaning on each other. A right hand from Bert Cooper. Combinations from Holyfield. Holyfield trying to throw that right uppercut that did so much damage moments ago before the rest period. And Evander looks a little winded at this point. 25 seconds remaining. Evander is not the fresh, energetic fighter he was back in the first and second rounds. Kurt Cooper can wear you down. He doesn't look like he's doing it, but he did it to Ray Mercer in one of the most exciting 10-round heavyweight fights in recent times. He literally beat Ray Mercer to a pulp, but Mercer outpointed him to take a 10-round decision at the end of the fifth round here. Now they're working on that right eye cut for Bert Cooper. Stay inside. Three. My cut. Yeah. It's on the eyelid. You're doing all right. You're doing all right, though. Get in there, Dean. Let's go back in round five. There's a right uppercut. It's solid. Again. From another angle. Look at that right uppercut. Most men would have been on their back a long time ago from that shot. Bert Cooper came to fight tonight. And this man, the champion, has got to be a little disturbed at this point as we begin round six, scheduled for 12. Before fight time, Many of the media were speculating on how long Burt Cooper would last. Everybody was giving him about three rounds, two, three rounds. But then you have to recall that stubborn performance against Ray Mercer. Holyfield seems to be slowly regaining his, his strength back now. Burt Cooper comes right at him. Burt is not shy. He's taking some shots, and he's given some shots. Burt counters. His corner wants him to go inside more, and believe me, if he gets inside, and you saw it earlier, if he gets inside, that's where he does his most damage. He has those short, powerful hooks that he slams to the body. Both men, though, considerably slowed at this point. Cooper's eye appears to be closing that right eye and he has blood in his mouth. So if he survives here, his corner is going to have to keep that eye in the best shape possible because that right eye is definitely starting to close now. But he's still fighting. And Holyfield is, uh, he lost some sting. After that near knockdown, he definitely lost some sting. He's still firing some pretty impressive punches, though, let me tell you. <laughs> There's that uppercut again. He's had a lot of success with that, with that right uppercut tonight. Six-round action. Turned into a very interesting fight. 
Everybody thought it might be a whole hum affair, but it's turned into an interesting fight. There's a counter right from Cooper as Holyfield pushes him over in the corner, separated by Mills Lane. Slamming punches to Holyfield's body is Cooper. Holyfield coming back again, ripping that uppercut inside. And again, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on Burt's eye. As the right eye is uh, quite swollen. We have 25 seconds remaining in round six. Burt Cooper, a, a new person since his drug rehabilitation, has won four fights this year. Left Philadelphia to live in Virginia where he could train. Closing seconds around six. Interesting situation here. Burt Cooper seems to have gained in confidence. Holy field still seems a Hold little uh, yeah. shaken. What have they got on in front of my eye? Let's go over into Burt's corner and see him see what they do with that eye. Hey, Ralph! He should be putting some end swell on there. He got some kind of ointment that's better in his eyes, eyes. coming off his body. His Get that stuff off his head. He got an on his Get ball. inside and dig that body. And do okay. the Tyson inside. What round is it? Seven. Take him, pick your shot, dig. Dig it, you walk. You don't warm down. Come on, baby. Round seven. Scheduled for 12. And this becomes a very crucial time in this fight now. We are past the midway point. And Burt Cooper, who looked to be out on his feet. Seems to have been rejuvenated a little bit here. And Evander Holyfield, although he has still got plenty of sting in his punches, is not quite as crisp as he was back in the first round when he put Cooper down. Cooper now seems to be gaining in confidence, and if he doesn't walk into a punch, he could make this a very, very close fight. Holyfield a little bit off balance now. A, a, a little sloppy for Vayner Holyfield. He usually has very good balance and uh, worn by Mills Lane for elbowing. His mouth is bloodied. His right eye is, is swelling. Vander Holyfield now is, is fighting a little erratically. Now he's using the jab and a right uppercut. That right uppercut has, has been a bread and butter punch for him tonight. There's another right uppercut that snaps Cooper's head back. A left hook from Holyfield. Cooper again seems to be rocky. But he's come back from this. They exchange punches. That was a jolt to both fighters. Now, now Holyfield is jabbing and slamming the inside uppercut. Snapping the jab. Cooper now definitely being held on the outside. There's the uppercut. Bert Cooper has, has had trouble defending against that punch tonight. Seventh round action. But Bert Cooper is game. This reminds you of the Rocky movie. This unusual chance for an unranked heavyweight to get a shot at the world champion. Out of the blue, a substitute for a substitute. And here he is in Holyfield's hometown and almost had Holyfield down in the third round. Oh, he's taking some shots from the champion now. He's getting ripped. He is getting ripped. Uppercuts, hooks. Holyfield turning it on. I don't know how Cooper is standing. I don't know how he can take this beating. Look at these uppercuts. And Mills Lane stops it. He stops it. Red 
Cooper taking some wicked shots from the champion was still on his feet. But Mills Lane did the wise thing. He stepped in and stopped it before more damage could be inflicted. But Burt Cooper won some fans here tonight. No doubt about it. He almost had the champion down on the canvas. And the champion knew it. He was wobbly for the next couple of rounds. And he almost had Burt Cooper down a couple of times, but he somehow, rather miraculously, was able to stay on his feet. So what was, uh, what was thought to be a possible uh, workout for Evander Holyfield turned into quite a fight, particularly the third round. Let's go back to the seventh round now. And you see those uppercuts and, and the lefts smashing. The left slamming against Cooper's head. See that uppercut? What a bread and butter punch that's been tonight for Holyfield. But just think how Cooper was able to take those uppercuts. Snapping his head back, but standing on his feet, incredibly so. Look at that uppercut. The champion just unloading, and finally, Mills Lane steps in. Let's look at it from a different angle, and you can appreciate the leverage. Look at the leverage the Holyfield's getting on that uppercut. Look at that. That would tear most fighters' heads off. There's another one coming here, I think, too, before Mills Lane steps in and stops. There it is. Incredibly, as the, as the champion rocked in the third, took a, a standing eight count. He came back and almost put Cooper out in the third round. He, he stayed on his feet. And then Cooper got an unusual rest period in the fifth round when the champion split his right glove open. And he had to change the glove, and that, that gave Burt uh, a little bit more life. Again, from the overhead camera shot. Now, now you can really appreciate the leverage that Holyfield got on the uppercuts. Just incredible how Bert Cooper withstood that and didn't go down, but Mills Wayne, uh, Lane did the, did the wise thing. Stopping the fight here in the seventh round as the champion ups his record to 27 and 0, 22 knockouts, while Bert Cooper will be 26 and 8. But Burt Cooper won a lot of fans here tonight. Here's the official announcement. Burt Cooper. The official time. Referee Mills Lane steps in and stops the bout. Two minutes, 